Good afternoon, everybody. Today I issue my second executive order since taking office on December 6th. This executive order calls for new, wide-ranging ethics rules. The executive order expands the number of employees who are required to receive ethics training, as well as the frequency of that training. Previously, only about 500 elected officials, their staff, and county employees were required to participate in ethics training within 120 days of becoming an elected official or their hire date. Under this new initiative, all 2,000 employees working for the Office of the President, including employees of the Cook County Health and Hospital System and the Cook County Forest Preserve District, will be required to undergo ethics training on an annual basis. This training must take place within 90 days. Additionally, training must be renewed annually. Previously, mandated training was repeated only every four years. The executive order was drafted with assistance from Mary Nick Foster, the executive director of the Cook County Department of Ethics. It's essential that Cook County employees meet the highest ethical standards. Every employee will understand the responsibilities placed upon them by their work for the people of Cook County and the office of the president of the Cook County Board. We're building a culture of transparency, openness, and accountability, and this is an important step in that process. All employees in the president's office, including myself, underwent training during the first full week. The Cook County Board of Ethics is responsible for enforcing the Cook County Ethics Ordinance, which sets forth directives to ensure honest government. The order changes the current policy in several ways. First, as mentioned earlier, every employee under the office of the president must complete annual training courses conducted by the Cook County Department of Ethics. These training sessions can be completed online. Second, all new hires under the office of the president currently exempt from mandatory training will be required to complete ethics training. Lastly, the new rules also affect dozens of executive appointees to the boards and commissions of the county, none of whom were previously required to undergo ethics training. First of all, I think it's, um, it's important that ethics training to be provided to as broad a group of county employees as possible, and secondly, I think it's, um, it's always helpful for people to know what the rules are, and this gives more people an opportunity to know exactly that.